what we saw Nongshim doing. Instead, they're going to go for the Lucian army themselves. Don't want to play against Gu Guma on Lucian. Well, uh, hey, Tish Molde. Uh, Darius AD carry? That'd be kind of crazy. Yeah, we, we, we saw that in, what was it, like... Zeri? A Fedus? Um, that was like crazy. A Fedus, Lulu. Freak of Freaks picking it up. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a Felios as the uh, chosen answer here. Um, Gumiushi did see it in our previous series, and he's like, wait, I can play a Felios again? <laughs> Hell yeah. And he is going to lock that one away. As Ona, he steals the tree. É que dá até pra tirar Nami, né? Não pegar Nami e pegar Milho, né? Milho é muito bom contra... Contra Maokai. Mas vai ser Nami. Nami mesmo. <risos> Mas acho que Milho encaixaria nesse jogo. I was gonna say crazier things have happened, but they haven't. Um, that would be uh, completely absurd. That would be pretty bonkers. Yeah. Um, so the Lulu, uh, understandably, going to be picked up here. So we've got junglers and bottom lanes. And so solo lanes going to take up these next remaining bands. What do they not want to see? I imagine a Twisted Fate band is probably going to come out from DRX. And then maybe a like, Twisted Fate Corky or something like that to be removed. Mm. Um... I mean, I feel like we often see AD mids paired up with the Maokai, so potentially they can start to target some of those uh, if, if you're really concerned. Jax being banned, you know, maybe the AD... Eri Gap is not going to play today? Cara, Eri Gap, man. He did say in a statement for the match. Eri Gap is taking a lot of cerveja, guys. But, you know, all faithful. Uh, yeah. Definitely could just bring it back. Why is Lulu only used with Aphelios? Because it's a response to Lucianami. Because neither Lulu nor Aphelios are good. Eles só aparecem porque é uma lane que é de boa de jogar contra o Lucianami. I still do think that you probably want to take away uh, something like this Fate, but instead the Tristana to avoid the Tristana Maokai combination that straight up didn't work uh, well enough for DRX. And as we mentioned, yeah, the Twisted Fate. Uh, yeah, which is interesting because it's not something we always see that much. Def, de novo do Zeus, mano. Very, a lot of confidence from Zeus that he'll be able to handle whatever matchup. I think it's also important he knows what jungle he's gone into. Rel obviously has a lot of uh, setup for ganks and stuff, but. I feel like if there was like a like a Sejuani plus Renekton, I, that's when you'd start to feel like, okay, maybe you could get ganked heavily and they could just play through top. Although, to be honest, the 1v1 is so bad, I don't think it even matters. Uh, yeah, Aatrox is going to come through Axie for DRX. You know, it's still a good matchup for the Twisted Fate, but a little bit better than Renekton. And it uh, looks like it might just be that Quarky in the mid lane. So I think I think DRX's composition is better. Oh, que do fake, yeah. O Faker tá quantos jogos seguidos sem perder de Cork? Vou trazer essa info pra gente. Yeah, for me it actually does look like at least DRX has a time of the game where they can fight, right? They're gonna hit a great mid-game spike that they can try to fight around, maybe get themselves the second Drake, third Drake, something like that. Ele fala? Get themselves into the game. Of course, the ultra late game will... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 jogos seguidos sem perder. Tá bom pra vocês? Vinte dois jogos sem perder. Cara, que insano, velho. Especially around late game macro and things like that with Malkai and Twisted Fate. My goodness, the amount of vision control they're going to have is absurd. Let's jump onto the rift here for game number two. Sometimes I forgot that ocean was.
Hoje você viu lá que horas? Uma da tarde, rapaziada. Loud contra Red. Jo... Não, Loud não. Luz, caralho. Luz contra Red. A Feli Lulu ganhando bot? Ah, eles... Level 1 eles ganham, né? Mas quanto mais passa, assim, melhor pro Lucianami. Mas level 1, level 2 eles ganham. A Lulu é muito forte level 1, cara. Ela é muito melhor que milho. Por isso que não pega o um milho, né? Porque a Lulu tem chance de trocar contra a Nami, né? Ela dá o slow... Nossa, não mata nunca, velho. Nossa, ainda vai morrer, velho. Morre? Não, né? Ah, ele deu um misclick, mano. Flash a Nami, flash a Nami. Achei essa play meio estranha, mano. Ainda mais que a Hell ainda voltou pro Rio, olha isso. Eu acho que eles trollaram muito o Maokai. Se o Maokai não dá W, acho que eles matam a Hell. Ele vai enrolando o CC e tal. Espera a Lulu ficar perto e aí dá W. Aí eles matavam a Hell. É, a bot lane da, da T1 tá estranha, né, mano? Eu acho que, de fato, é um excelente pick, porque agora é melhor do que Zyrakhan. Exatamente. Eu acho que, para ser honesto, nós tivemos alguns jogos muito solos de Lucian, e, de fato, um finesse pick, e 
you know, it's a good advantage for DRX obtained here. Uh, the wave being so big, T1 don't expect to be aggressed on, but the CC layering solid. You know, good start. Whether yeah. they can transition this Lucian from this point into a win is, is, is a big question, but this is definitely the direction. Elastic Carry, de verdade, não morreu nenhuma vez. Fuck you. O homem não tem jeito, né, mano? O Kerry não tem como, mano. Não tem como. Ele é realmente o, o verdadeiro Kerry. To do this Drake with Sponge in the area, he's just too scary. Yep, I mean, he has so much potential to steal it on the rail. Also, just Corky being so weak at this point in the game. And for T-Rex, this is huge. Uh, giving Dragons over to a Corky team early, when you know later on the package is going to be there, uh, is really painful. So I'm glad he moved down to interrupt that. And T1 are respectful and don't overcommit for it. Yep, not going to be... Uh, Guma tá muito abaixo do nível da T1. Longe, de longe, pior jogador nesse split da T1. Cara, não acho que de longe não, mas assim, eu acho que ele é o pior sim da T1, só que mesmo assim ele ainda é muito bom, tá ligado? Isso é um fato, que ele é muito bom, isso é verdade, mas eu acho que ele é o pior hoje da T1. Essa virada, né, de Lucian, de Aphelios e Lulu dá muito dano, velho. We check in on the top lane, Rascal having a rough one, as we know, but we'll be able to pick up this wave and should equalize somewhat, as far as farm is concerned. So it should only be 10 behind or something like that, and in a matchup into the twist of fate that is so incredibly uh, lane dominant, especially in the early stages against melee champions, uh, it's not the end of the world here for DRX on the top side. Yeah, I mean, the expectation is going to fall behind. We do see uh, the Comet, which is a typical take for uh, Aatrox. We saw this originally when it was like Aatrox and R meta. Yep. But just if you're able to land those combos, get a Q in, you can just sweet spot. Ô, louco, Dudão. Como eu acho um absurdo falar que ele é pior que o One é loucura. O que o Maio fez no Mundial já pode se falar que que pra ele esperar o Ruler é questão de tempo. É, também acho. For the twisted fate, but still, DRX definitely just looking so much better than the previous game. Maybe this is that happy game you were talking about. Maybe this is the opportunity for T1. And I hope, I, I kind of hope that it isn't because I really do like undefeated streaks. Remember, it was very sad when Faker's uh, LeBlanc finally lost. It took a, a while for that to happen. But it was pretty hype. It was definitely hype in a game five at MSI the very first time. Of, yeah. Uh, that Perhaps we happening. can save the hype. Yeah. Foda que tem, mano, esse time da T1, tipo, ah, o bot não tá tão bem aqui nesse jogo, mas tem o Zeus top, tem o Faker de Cork, tipo, tem como achar que eles vão perder, mano. O carry morreu. O carregador morreu. Nossa. Só pedrada, filho do Lúcio. Você tá muito forte já. Não tem como acreditar, né, mano? Tem como acreditar que tem um pé desse jogo? Impossível, pô. 
apply the pressure and don't look to capitalize more of it. It is already the Shiv Lucian, so so much pushing power in this lane. Uh, and the thing is, if if Guma is on a tower this low, like you're just getting chipped down by the static Shiv. Uh, of course, they are going to go for a reset now. Yep. Uh, Kleda not quite able to afford the mandate, unfortunately. Not quite there just yet, but it is pretty close as chains come on through. Uh, the Rascal not going to be able to find too much more. So Zayas underneath his turret for now, so you can see that Rascal has been able to get a little bit back as far as uh, any form of control. As Faker. O push da Ari, mano. Ela puxa muito, olha isso. É um quezão na wave. Limpou. Se não tomar esse palha até sola, hein? Ou pior que, pior que isso é uma real, né? Se a gente reclama do nível de gameplay nossa comparado da LCK, a gente tem que reclamar do nível da, do cameraman, não? Nosso cameraman é muito pior do que o da, o da LCK. Será que somos a pior região de cameraman do mundo? Pelo menos nosso cash é o melhor do mundo, é. Você não mostrou seu dog hoje? Cara, não vi meu dog. Desde ontem eu não vejo meu dog, mano. Empowered back, gonna be utilized here from Sponge. Going to be 
be able to go back home. Does have his frozen heart done. No magic mantle now as well alongside it. Ele tava com sono ontem, só ficou dormindo. Deixa eu ver, mano, onde ele tava. Aproveitar que esse mid-game aí. Tá dormindo, deve estar dormindo ali no quarto. Amor de Deus. Mas aqui tá começando a esquisitar mais do que eu acho que esquisitaria, mano. Dois itens já no TF já. Difícil demais eles perderem esse jogo. Caralho, mano, que kite perfeito, velho. Caralho, que insano, mano. Que insano, velho. O Danzeiro está sendo o melhor player desse ano? Não. Acho que não. Acho que os melhores players desse ano são Keria, Chove. Acho que é esses dois, Keria e Chove. Ah, já tirou o ult da área, mano. Roubou. Caralho, jogou bem, mano. Não, tu falou da LCK, né, galera? Os melhores players desse ano é LCK, né? Do mundo? Pô, do mundo tem vários. Tem J.K. Love, tem... Knight, Milky Way... Nossa, só o dano de todo mundo, filho. Barãozinho. Ele não tem flash, nossa. 
base setup does have the extra movement speed as well. They do have the scuttle control, and Nature's Grasp says that there is no way they're stopping this Baron from going down. So T1, give him an inch, and they will take a Baron uh, every single time. Uh, that's just how it goes. Gumushi completes his Infinity Edge as well. Item number two. Rush that one, and we're going to see this one one more time. It looked like Teddy was in massive amounts of trouble, but does manage to trade it back very well. Mas ele jogou mal aqui, né, mano? Tomou muito dano free, velho. Então toma, Gage. Os caras deram um Gage e não pegaram nada, mano. Flash Bubble errou. Champion is still ridiculously powerful as Megacone going to deliver Carrier Gumushi towards this bottom lane. Zayas was um, pressuring the top lane. Rascal now up there by himself as Sponge and Teddy trying to convince Ona to leave the jump. Oh, oh my god, this damage onto Teddy is getting a little bit silly. He's going to have to try and cull to stop them from doing any more damage to this inner turret as Ona suffers at least two thirds of his health bar as all the connection of the moonshot. Yeah, Faker actually going to Eclipse first rather than the Malignant you typically see. Hmm. Okay, Zayas just takes flash. the charm and just wanders his way out. He's so Caralho. Caralho. Do not activate. Que isso, pô? Que isso, esse cara jogando, pô? It took four people, not the three they initially invested is now. Meu Deus, vai dar ruim. Vai nada. Sorry, the moonshot. What's the moonlight vigil? That's the one. The big old old. Oh, mano, o cara parece que tá maquinado, filho. And T1 able to at least convince them to leave. Still, it is an advantage for DRX. They get rid of Zeus. Yeah, but it just feels kind of crazy how much had to be invested for him to finally go down. The value on that ghost, uh, pretty massive in that situation. Able to dodge, dip, dive, duck. You know, with the. I think he could dodge a wrench. I definitely think he could dodge a wrench. And I assume that he could also dodge a ball. Yeah, I would think ah, so. Sort of. And uh, un unfortunately, we're never going to know because none of these champions threw balls. Yeah, unfortunately, he couldn't dodge. There are a lot of ball throwing champions. Like, there's Ziggs. And I did, show you. Yeah, I think. Yep, cover me, cover me, cover me, is what he's saying. The problem was, he couldn't mm. dodge a flash. I'll put it, I'll put it. Aatrox, no flash, don't worry guys. Yep, we're um, just making Ele tem, mano. Ele tem esse, essa movimentação. Uh, any sort of misplay goes because flash, and that is a uh, broken ability. Wildcard's gonna be avoided. And we can check in on the damage dealt Zayas at the top of the table. And this time around, Teddy's second. So, some redemption for our boy Teddy. This gold card can be collected on the way past there. Quai, 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 quai. Oh, sorry, yes. Uh, he's also got a bell. Yep. Pô, pior que eu vi essas plantinhas no chão ali, eu lembrei. Saudade do, do uma arena, né, galera? Um 2x2x2x2x2. Dois, 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 dois. Probably not, but I also still think that DRX, if they get into a 5v5 scenario, this composition does have legs, right? Like, yeah. you are actually yeah. able to, to always fight with a rel comp like this. It is Xyalus, so we're okay. Yeah, and there is no Xyal. So it is, um, that's, it, there are definite positives. Three items are now done for Teddy as well. Infinity Edge, Rapid Fire Cannon, and the Static Shiv. So oh, that's what I have the drop, yeah, man. Don't even tell, man. Fico até, mano, ficar triste, velho. Não. 
I think then they will be able to make things very dark. The hardest thing when you're playing against a TF is that for a composition like DRX is, you imagine like the Aatrox of the Ari playing on a flank being so powerful, but all you have to do is plant Zeus covering the flanks. If he doesn't have vision, he can ult and just zone. Yeah. And suddenly it becomes impossible to really find those angles. So uh, on top of that, you have the saplings as well. It really is. Ah, drop it. Sponge is looking for an angle here, but as long as T1 played. Vai tomar esse engage, não é possível com isso. Tem... Nem, nem quebra o shield, velho. O jogo tá muito parado, mano. Quero que o Zeus faça alguma playzinha aí, um ult. Fake tá level 16 agora. Pegar pacote é Baron, né? Tem que ser. Olha onde a Hell tá, velho. Flanco perfeito. Nossa. Matou? Matou. Free Baron. Mais um missão. Agora o Grandão. Boom. O Grandão agora. Ah, que isso, mano. Esse cara é insano, velho. Puta que pariu. Esse cara é insano, mano. Caralho, esse moleque, velho. Ele joga muito, mano. Que porra é essa, mano? Não acabou. Parece que ele tá sempre de Ghost, né? O Zeus, cara. Corre muito. Sem suar. Caralho, que, mano, que passeiozinho, filho. 